I don't mean to alarm you, but one of your cohorts has been violently kidnapped. Actually, maybe I do mean to alarm you. Shit! Lucky for you, I was able to track down a likely suspect in the few seconds it took you to formulate... What can you tell me on this girl, Bags? Albion's hot on her trail. GPS history shows a pattern of raids on locations she's recently visited. Hmm. Sounds like something that section. Look into. Got it. I've tracked down an officer who was at the most recent raid. I am here. That brilliant Albion goon left their optic on passive listening mode. Must have skipped counter surveillance day in fascist school. They might have recorded something about our prospect. Perfect. I will collect that data. Founder.
Congratulations on your great victory. Now get out of there so we can take a look at what you've got. Terminating the search. Control. Put out an APW. Just as I thought. Take a listen to this. You find the drugs cash? It was right where you said. Aren't we lucky? Told you not. I'm uh, excited to be... Here, apparently, the resistance is uh, not going well. Uh, again? <laughs> well, there has been some news about DedSec. The resistance and or terrorist organization deleted... I'm not paranoid, but I do wonder about people I cross in the street. Who are they? Are they just what look like? Are they something else? Undercover serious agent, gang member, terrorist. It's you. I did change it. That's thing you must look for. I like it. Yes, what? I hear you've been planting evidence for Albion. For yours? If we help her, she may join DedSec. Albion stores sensitive data like this on air-gapped servers, so zeroing those hard drives... security locked down, but you could bet it's got more holes in it than Julius Caesar. Hack the server to access the blackmail material they have on our friend.
can access the blackmail material Albion has on our friend from this server. Security's onto you. They're sending some goons your way. Seems like Albion had very clear CCTV footage of our prospects sticking up a betting shop. Emphasis on had, because it's gone now. They'll have to find someone else to plant their false evidence. Thank you, talking computer. Let's tell her the good news. This is that sec. We wiped the evidence Albion had.
More badass folks like you should join us. This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. Why is this relevant? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S O. Wait for it. S. Let's check it out. I need the coordinates. Someone's going to miss this beauty. I am here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Ma'am? Okay, is there a reason we are using an old shit phone? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who are you? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. I'm listening only. No promises. Good. I hid coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. I'm not sure about this. Bagley, Sabine, opinions? All right, that's a wrinkle. 
So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. A situation. Contact is not here and there are signs of a struggle. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Okay, I will do it. What are you doing? I ain't seen nothing of. What do you mean? Wait, you don't look... Oh, bollocks. You're undercover, aren't you? Trying to see if I'll talk, eh? Ain't gonna happen. Take a deep breath. I ain't seen nothing. Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. That appears to be our contact. It certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry.
It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. All right, Begley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construct... I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy gear has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it. Oh. I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. Oh. 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 It's not me. I swear to God. Please. Please. This man looks soft. He will break soon. Bagley, send me a location. We have to move quickly. Wow. This looks... different. Relax. I'm with that sack. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your life. No, you've just damned us both. Look, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, you will explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Fine. Bagley will evaluate the intel. You should hope I do not regret this. That I can't promise.
Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. I don't know about this man, but we should look at his intel. All right, one second. Bagley, go over this man's information, and if it rings true, call a team meeting. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malik's intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... I understand. Cut off the head and the snake dies. But are you here now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. But it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Sabine, do you think Zero Day is doing this because of us? Because we fought back? Cut that victim-blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. <laughs> 